Governments have long been wary of Bitcoin, while expressing admiration for its innovative ledger system. This trend can be traced back till 2014, when the blockchain knock Bitcoin mantra was coined. Six years on and that sentiment is being backed by action as governments and businesses the world over commission blockchain initiatives. Are these entities genuinely bullish on blockchain? Or are they simply trying to stay relevant and capitalize on tech trends? Also read, a tax advisor tells crypto customers to self-report on taxes, even if imperfect initial and enterprise blockchain projects are stacking up global governments or falling over themselves to commission blockchain projects. Last week, the Canadian government awarded a contract for steel tracking on-chain, and at Davos there was widespread talk of using blockchain for data collection and environmental solutions. Most Davos experts seem to agree that blockchain tech is best used for data collection rather than self-sovereign finance, read one media tweet from the event, prompting Nirar Grawal to retort experts agree blockchain tech is better for the thing no one has used it for rather than the only thing it has been used for. Governments may envision vastly different use cases for blockchain than those favored by the crypto community but they appear earnest in their desire to deploy distributed ledger technology. So too do the enterprises interested in utilizing and fostering blockchain adoption. In addition to the Canadian government in King $130 130 key deal for an on-chain steel tracking blockchain, the past week has seen Hyperledger launch a climate action special interest group dedicated to advancing the health for governments and businesses to monitor emissions. Other entities to have recently gotten in on the blockchain game include Thailand, whose government is integrating blockchain technology into its new e-visa system. Private chains in the public sector Lear Yaf is the director and co-founder of Jellerida, a blockchain software company that maintains the ardor and ants chains and develops enterprise solutions. In his view, government-favored permission blockchain solutions alone cannot unleash the full potential of the technology since they ultimately depend on the goodwill of only a few parties. Yaf believes that broader blockchain adoption calls for the creation of hybrid solutions where the main consensus engine is public and decentralized, while specific applications, for example child chains, can be permissioned for specific use cases by specific actors. There are good reasons why governments are commissioning permission blockchains as opposed to building on Bitcoin or Ethereum. The trustless nature of public ledgers, and the difficulty of enforcing Kik and Amler anathema to agencies seeking DLT solutions with compliance baked in. Is Coindesk as Davos crypto funds? Walliter observed, crypto and Bitcoin are still dirty words but blockchain its neutered cousin has been fully assimilated by the global elite. The question is whether government adoption of. You can read full post on CryptoFans. News, link available in text below.